question for you. Uh, can you provide, you know, give us some, like, what, give us some tips on the best practices for installing these cells when people are buying them from us and putting it together? I mean, do you have any input to say, hey, yeah. first timers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I could board the paint off the wall. Um, what I was going to say was, is that one, we, you know, we, we publish a list of steps, general assembly instructions to kind of give you an idea, like, you know, make sure your cells are passively balanced first. I'll go down the list. I just kind of have it memorized. So we'll just kind of do a quick one minute <laughs> TikTok short. Um, we're going to call it TikTok short. So, you know, get your cells out, make sure they're signed, no damage in the boxes. If you got a cell that's busted through the side, it looks like Wolverine. Call Jeff's crew. <laughs> let them know. Now let them know, you know, you got a cell messed up. Um, begin that process. Everything looks good. Pull them out, check their voltages. Um, immediately put them in parallel all together. So you got six cells, all the positives on one side. All the negatives on the other. Connect them all together. It can, it makes it so much easier in the long run. Usually I give mine a day or two, let them bounce out, let them get real close, and then begin the assembly process. Basically what you'll do is um, you'll use all the links and connectors provided by the Jeff Kerr in the combo. And you'll just like, and, and the biggest thing I would tell you to do is when you're assembling those, go slow, take your time. If you've got questions, ask. Don't just start assembling and thinking you know, and then you end up calling Jeff saying, hey, where can I buy these sales? Um, what you'll have is, is you'll go slow and don't over torque them. People torque the piss out of these. And there's no reason to. It's barely over. It's seven nanometers. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like less than a foot pound. It's something ridiculous. It's barely over hand tight. And go ahead, connect them all similar. And then when all they're connected, then install your balancer after everything's all parallel. Basically your initial parallel, your passive balancing has allowed all those cells to get similar. So that balancer is not mm -hmm. working its butt off trying to get everything lined up. Once you're done with that, once everything is lined up, everything looks good, check all your connections. I throw a very, 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 and I mean this very lightly, so I don't want to see an email about, oh, you told me to gauss my cell in super glue. Um, I mean, just a dab. I mean, just like a piece yeah, out just dab. Just a locker, like, like Loctite, right? right. Yeah, like, just it's something like something or something. <laughs> keep it from backing off because they're so loose. Um, I do that on my own sales, and then you just pretty much just flick it off if you ever need to take it off. So um, right. check everything, and then hook up your LI fourteen oh eight or whatever, and let it charge up. Keep an eye on it. Keep that charger on it for about, I'd say thirty minutes to an hour, because what you're going to see is that bouncer as they've all charged up. That bouncer is working to bring everything even, so that general voltage level is going to drop first time more than it ever will. We get all the time, Sean. They're impatient, and then they're calling you like, "Oh, uh, all of them at two point three, but one's yeah. at two point one. It's a bad cell." I'm like, "No, <clears throat> yep. slow down. Yep. You got to be patient. Let them balance out. It doesn't happen instantly. Yep. And the more time you give, just like breaking in the sub, the better off long term." Yep. Okay.